I'm now known as Cindy. Cindy the vegan. And I have accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. Hello, Scoobies. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastically fabulous. Look at my hair. Isn't it beautiful? It's a lot shorter than what it usually is. I'm looking on YouTube because questions. People have questions, okay? My battery's only at like 50 something percent, so we gotta make this quick, okay? We gotta go to the community section because I got screamed at. I got, ooh girl, I got screamed at. I missed somebody's question. Ooh, little sisters. I don't mean to be missing your questions, but when you submit them months after I've edited the video and you all like, girl, you missed my question, I gotta go back and I gotta record a video for your question. Now there's a few other questions that we're gonna put into here, so, so you know, just everybody chill, chill out. Okay, so here's the question that I missed. How important are servitors in your practice? And my non-witchy question, did you stop vaping? Oh girl, mm-mm. I ain't ever gonna stop vaping. Mm, I need my nicotine, but I know some of you in the States, especially in Montana, y'all dealing with the crazies down there, okay? Y'all dealing with the crazies. The crazies of only tobacco flavors allowed, no fruits, none of that type of stuff. And up here in Canada, oh, we, we starting to deal with that. Nova Scotia's got a ban on all the flavored e-juices and, and e-liquids and stuff like that. And... And Health Canada is trying to propose these, get rid of all of these flavors. And I just found me a new flavor today, girls. I just found me a new flavor. It's this cran apple flavor. And I love it. I love it. Now, I don't vape as much because I up my nicotine to a 12. And that's probably the equivalent of like six cigarettes at once. <laughs> And why did I do that? Because I vape so damn much. I need to just chill. You know, I need my nicotine. Don't take my nicotine away from me. Okay, so how important are servitors in my practice? Well, it depends upon the situation. And a lot of the times, I don't need a servitor at my practice. Now, if y'all would like to see a series where I deep dive into servitors and educate y'all on what servitors are and show you how to make serv servitors and how I do it in my craft, there is a comment section down below and I'll get to it, okay? I've got all kinds of content ideas. I mean, we got content starting on the 8th of February, okay? We got some real content starting. So in my craft, it really does depend. It depends on the situation. It depends if this needs to be a long-term thing that needs to play out over many, many months or if this is something that I can do myself with a quick candle spell. I love my candle spells. Girls, you know I love my candle spells. Everybody knows I love my candle spells. We need to vape because this person doesn't think I vape anymore. Mm -mm. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so when it comes to servitors for me, it is a lengthy, long, taxing process to create them. I make mine out of clay, self-drying clay. I bring them to life in fire. I speak their name. I give them a name. I give them a purpose. Their food is usually a blessed moon water or specific types of herbs that I will just sprinkle over them a little bit or maybe an oil that I'll rub over their mouth a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. And their tasks can vary from um, protection magics. If I'm dealing with some, you know, internet drama, you know, you gotta protect yourself, girl. But aside from that, what else is there? There was a time when I had a servitor for money before I started working with demons. Can we stop burping? Are we done? Are we done? Thank you. Um, there was a time when I, before I started working with demons, you know, uh, money servitors were really good. I tried a servitor for love. That didn't really work out that well. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Now, what I like to do is make vessels, okay? And I make vessels based off of um, 
well, they're, I bear again, they're made out of clay or I'll use a crystal, but their point is to house a spirit. Okay, it's kind of like a servitor, but it's a house for a spirit. And it could be a clay doll, it could be a crystal ball, it could be something as simple as a smoky quartz crystal, it could be anything that I want. I could even store them in a candle. It could be anything at all that I want to store a spirit into. Now let's get on to some of today's questions because y'all put some questions down in the comment section. See, y'all starting to listen to me, aren't you? Hashtag Queen Elsa. Y'all starting to listen to me. So let's see. I thought that there were some questions on here. Now this lady keeps talking about a movie called The Love Witch. I've never seen it. One of these days I'll get around to it. Trust me, I'll get around to it. Um, do you use cannabis in your craft at all? I do. I also got hella downloads while I'm baked. Now, y'all know that I used to smoke a, a, just a ton of weed, just a ton of weed. Talk about it all the time. Smoke the weed, yes. We, we, we show up to our live chats just baked out our tree. Mm-hmm, they call me a drug addict, honey. I am a crack baby. Not literally, okay? Not literally. So, um, when it comes to marijuana in Canada, it is expensive, okay? You want to buy like a 3.5 of something, you're looking at like 50 bucks. You know what I could use that $50 for? I could buy me some candles, I could buy me some herbs, I could buy me some groceries. Mm-hmm. We don't need to be spending that kind of money. And I did notice when I was smoking the ganja that the communications with the Morrigan through the tarot cards, they seemed clearer. But now that I look back on it, they were probably more muddied than I thought they were. Even though the messages would come through clear as day and I praised smoking the Mary Janes and reading the tarot cards because the messages would come through, you never really would remember what it was that you were talking about. It was like this fog, this haze. And that's one of the other reasons I don't like to use it in my craft. Now, if you use it in your craft and you get amazing results, girl, you do whatever it is that you need to do to get your amazing results. But me, it's too expensive. And I'm too lazy to go find me a drug dealer because you never know what that weed's going to be laced with. It could be laced with heroin. It could be laced with fentanyl. And you don't want to be smoking that. Mm -mm. So every now and then I'll have a joint. Every now and then, you know. And do a little mutt bang all by myself, watching some Trisha Paytas or Nicocado Avocado, who really needs to get off YouTube because that man is just pure trash. That man is just pure and utter trash. Mm -hmm. Pure trash. So I hope that answers your question. Now, what was the other one? This other one had a lot of questions in it. Mr. Shadow Sun, Mrs. Shadow Sun, I don't know what you are, but honey, we're going to answer all your questions. Okay, when you started working with demons, did you have any reservations or concerns? Not really. I mean, pop culture witchcraft, like Sabrina and like Supernatural and Charmed and all of the shows that we're so used to watching, you know, our little fantasy television, they paint them as big, bad, evil things. But you have to realize a lot of demons are actually pagan gods that have been condemned, if you will, by church of any religion, be you Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Catholic, Orthodox, or whatever the case may be. Um, demons, a lot of them are pagan gods. Now, there are a lot that are actually demons, and some of them are scary. Beleth is scary. Don't work with Beleth, okay? I'm warning you. Don't work with Beleth. He is terrifying and scary. Um, but aside from that, didn't really have any reservations. I kind of just jumped in. I'm not the type of witch who puts my little toe into the water and is like, is this temperature good enough? No, I just jump in. Just jump in head first. <laughs> I don't care how shallow it is. If I crack my skull open and bleed all over the place, oh honey, mm, I have colored the waters. So it's perfectly, like I didn't have any reservations or concerns. Did you have any tips or resources for information on demons as a whole? Well, sweetie cheeks, I got a whole series coming out called Dancing with Demons. It comes out after the craft 
Now, it comes out after Goddess. It's sometime in the summertime. <laughs> But there's like six episodes, six weeks of content, we get deep, it's a little bit much for me sometimes, we get theoretical, I give you my thoughts and opinions on how I work with demons, it's a good series, you should stick around, check it out, subscribe if you're not already. Um, let's see, what are some of your tips concerning money spells? Okay, my tip for you, sweetie cheeks, is don't ask for more than you need okay don't get greedy don't get greedy and do the mundane okay don't just sit there and light your little candle and be like oh i need me some rent money i'm just gonna sit here and eat bonbons while that money flows in mm -mm, that's not how it works you know that's not how it works you know that the queen the preacher man queen elsa all the things that you've got for me i will come for you i will tell you to get off your goddamn ass and hit that pavement and get a job okay now if you have a job and you're working a lot, but that money just seems like it's disappearing. It's it's going out faster than it's coming in. I would heavily suggest you sit down with a, with a pad and pen, get all your bills, get all your expenses together, write them all down, and then make a second list of, okay, this is my actual bills. These are my actual things that I need to pay every month or I will be screwed. So like your rent, your car payment, your car insurance, your internet, your cell phone, the food for your house and your kitties and your children and all of that fun stuff. And then once you have that done, cross it off your other list and then look at your other list and be like, oh girl, do I need any of this? Do I need any of this? If you've got like Netflix, Disney Plus, Shutter, if you've got, what else is out there? Hulu and Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm, sweetie, I might cancel all but one of those. If you've got cable, but you're watching Netflix more, maybe you should get rid of cable. You know what I'm saying? Budget. Because you got to do the mundane with the magical. Now, when it comes to doing the actual spell. Let's say you're doing all of that, right? You're doing all of that. You figured out what you don't need. You're cutting the things that you don't need. You're living within your means, okay? Live within your means. Don't live within your desires, sweet cheeks. What you want to do then is you want to create an oil that resonates with you. Create a, a candle dressing that resonates with you and really focus purely on your intention. So don't be like, I need $600. Be like, I need money to flow so that this is covered, this is covered, this is covered, and this is covered. So what I like to do is like make that money flow so that my rent is paid, my car payments are made, my car insurance is covered, I got food in the fridge. You know, the things that you need, not the things that you want. I know we love to ask for the things that we want, but really, at the end of the day, witchcraft is actually all about the things that you need. We put this... It, it seems like in the modern era, we've put this desire onto witchcraft of the things that we want. We want the big house. We want the luxurious car. We want this. We want that. We look at Instagram. We look at YouTube. We look at this. We look at that. And it's just, is that really what you need? Or is that what you want? You gotta remember, witchcraft of old, when they were living in their log cabins or their ramshackle huts or wherever they were living, they were always doing their craft for the things that they needed. I need my crops to grow. I need my animals to be healthy. I need my land to be protected. You know, throw in a want every now and then. You know, I want this. And phrase it like a need because you know how, you know how witchcraft is. Your intentions need to be clear and concise okay so i hope that helps you um do you have a connection with the spirits of the land that you live on in addition to the spirits that you already work with of course i have a connection with the earth i have a connection with the dirt a connection with the moon i love to draw upon the earth and when i call upon the spirits when i conjure the spirits just last night i was conjuring the spirits but when i conjure the spirits it's always the spirits of the land and the spirits of the dead you know you you have to have that connection as a witch i truly believe you need to have that connection with the earth with the elements with the spirits of those things in order to be a successful witch that's just my opinion, though. Don't get mad at me, little sisters. Okay. Um, 
Do you have an opinion on social media influences on witchcraft as a whole? Do you think it perpetuates stereotypes um, or the need to have fancy items to practice? Absolutely. Oh my god. Now this ain't no shade, this ain't no tea, this ain't no drama with tequila, but I remember um, when I started this YouTube journey, okay, I would see Amber, I would see Tequila, I would see all these fancy witches with their haul videos and their fabulous nails and their, you remember that Tequila video where she's showing off her room and she's got jars as far as the eye can see and a beautiful altar. I mean, even... And I'm gonna say this because I'm gonna regret it, but even Cat W Magic, when she would do her videos with her little fingers flipping through her crystals, there's a little MV there, you know? I would buy the fancy things, I would buy these things, but that's not what witchcraft is about, right? I had to learn that one the hard way. It's not about the materialistic items, it's about your intentions and the energies that you manifest with the things that you have. Now, that's that's not me saying that you shouldn't buy the crystals and the herbs and the jars full of things and have the nice altar. You do you, girl, and you show it off as much as you want to. But just keep in mind that that's not what's needed, okay? On my altar right now, we got two candle holders, we got three of these, we've got two cauldrons, we've got some sage here, what else we got? We got some herbs, we got, we got, we got, uh, we got our grimoire here, okay? We got all kinds of things here, but we don't have, like, if I were to add up the total value of everything on here, I'd say it's maybe, just a little north of $50, if that. Um, but it's not expensive. You don't need expensive things. And I do think that social media, and I did do a video, and I don't know if it's still up because I did clean my channel a while ago, but it might be, on why I think social media is bad, okay? It's bad because it perpetuates this desire and this need or this... Um, this thought process that I need to have this to be a successful witch, when in reality you don't. Your kitchen spices and some tea light candles, girl, that's all you need. That's all you need, some dollar store candles, honey, that's all you need. Uh, what else do we have on here? Non-witchy related questions, I love them. My favorite food or drink? Well, I used to love Coca-Cola then that's bad for your teeth. So then I used to love um, brisk iced teas, like the big cans, but that's just bad for your teeth. So now I love my carbonated Perrier water, okay? I'm drinking this like strawberry carbonated water. It's got no sugar, it's got nothing in it. It's just carbonated water. It's been proven that it's not bad for your teeth. Um, there's a little bit of calcium in it, but I mean, it's not like, you know, I wouldn't substitute my milk for it. So, you know, all that fun stuff. I love my carbonated water. Now for an alcoholic drink, honey, you give me a vodka martini with extra olives in it, mm, girl, we good. Now my favorite food, anything seafood. I love my sushi, okay? I love sashimi, okay? Love it, love it, love it. I could eat it for days on end. Um, anything else? That was it. That was it. So I hope that this answered your questions, my fabulous little scabbies.